Welcome back Walker Guitar fans, Corey here. This week we're going to be doing Australia's by a Wilhelm Scream. Uh, I've done the, uh, I don't know if it's left or right, but I've done Mike Sapina's guitar on this, which includes the solo uh, sections. So, um, and I got it like 95% right, so we're going to go with that given the, uh, the content here. Anyway, so um, I'm going to zoom up and show you guys how to do it, and I think the best way to go about it is to um, just do it kind of slowly, and I'll mention anything uh, that seems relevant. But I assume if you're going to tackle this that you have some uh, punk chops. So um, that said, props to uh, Wilhelm Scream here for making this awesome song, and uh, let's check it out. I'm going to go through um, this song. I'm just going to do the whole thing basically start to finish so whatever part you think you need the most work on just kind of scroll through the video till you find it okay so um, we're gonna start this off and you gotta tune your guitar down to drop D so that means you gotta take your E string and lower it a whole step till it becomes a D note now if you don't have a tuner and I, I recommend obviously you use one but if you don't have one your D string here can help you they're going to be the same. This one's just an octave underneath. What that does is that creates a gigantic power chord on the low three strings. Okay? Okay, so that said, then we're going to get to our riff here. So uh, now remember, power chords on the low string sets are just uh, flattening a finger over either two or three of the strings. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter what you do. So um, the beginning riff is this. Okay, so all that is nine, seven, nine. And then you're going to grab a double stop in the center two strings. And before you teach this to anybody, you're going to get your guitar set up better than mine so it doesn't sound like crap. And uh, here we go. So you're going to take that double stop then, and you're going to slide up and back a whole step. So you can't pick that, you just pick the first part. The next part you gotta shift back. Okay, so the way that's gonna work, those are palm muted. Hammer on pull off. And I believe two more palm mutes. Uh, I think it varies though. Okay, so then the next part, It's just a bunch of power chords in a, in a very interesting order here. Wish I thought of it. Which is going to be fourth, fifth, open, first, first on the A string, third on the low string, open A off the A string. Uh, finger choices, you're just going to have to work it out. Okay, next part. Then you're going to kind of do it again. Actually, that's exactly the same. Then you have this. So that little bit, anchor your pinky at seven. I like to go down, down, up, down, down, up. The common note is the seventh fret there. So I anchor the pinky five on the bass. Four, eight, with the finger shift, first finger replaces the pinky, like that. You might want to just keep this flat for consistency, but you can kind of work it out. Then you have three, open, three, five. Okay, now we're on to the official verse. Okay, that's nine, seven, nine, five, the fill, B string, seventh fret, bend a half step, release, pull off. Okay, then you're gonna navigate seven, six, seven, hammer to nine, back to six.
Next part. Starts the same. Then you go open, four, five. Strum a little bit. I'm not going to get into the exact strumming. You can feel it out. Add your third and your, um, uh, your pinky <laughs> uh, on the seventh and eighth frets of the G and the B strings. And if you listen carefully, uh, a lot of the stuff in this song is actually the other guitar, and there's a lot of tasty stuff on both of these. Uh, I was really trying to copy this uh, you know, to the T with just one guitar, so a lot of the things you hear uh, I may, that I may be leaving out are actually the other guitar. So uh, just kind of be aware of that. And he does like a, I know the other guitar right there does something really cool. This guitar just lines up with it at the very last hit. Uh, Right there, okay, so uh, just keep it in mind. Then you do the same thing again. But you got another fill, different fill now. B string seventh, G. Okay. You guys can get it. Just uh, back up the video if you need to. Then you got... Really cool, love it. Got me reminiscing of my future lately. So that part, open A string. Let me just play it. Sounds better when you speed it up to uh, to tempo. It's a little trippy at this speed, I think, or at least for me. Okay, then you get this sort of all band stop with a little guitar fill. Yeah, so I take it outside. You got this. It's a little, really kind of pretty chimey thingy. You're doing um, the way I do this. Seven, pull off to five. Ring finger hits seven on the G. Back to five. Then I add my pinky while holding down the ring finger and I kind of swipe both of those strings. Kind of like that. Okay, so that's the next little bit. Now you got this uh, really kind of, this is sort of weird, the rhythm. Um, I dig it, so it was hard for me to get, but it's a... Uh, so you're dealing with the little shape here. And then you're adding your pinky, so you got fifth, fourth, you're gonna palm mute that on and off. And then you're gonna, in addition, add your pinky at seven. So you're doing that. That shape, little uh, major seven style chord. Okay. Then you get the, uh, the little climbing melody. Okay, you're gonna do You're almost playing with power chords, more or less. Roll your first finger. I slide to 12. I actually don't think he does, but I just found it fun and made it a habit. 12, 11. Then we got, uh, oh, this is fun. Okay, so that part. Kind of a lot, a little bit hard to do your, uh, your shifts. Open, D on the A string power chord, nine, E power chord, fourth fret bar, 
pinky at 7 on the D string. Then you lift it off, two strums on your 5th uh, your fret. Okay. Then you're going, uh, told me to stop, not quite done, not yet done. Okay, just a second fret B power chord, fifth fret again, and then kind of add your pinky if you want. Now you can mentally relax a little bit. Got the chorus, very cool chorus. Fifth fret, seventh fret, second fret, okay. And the second time through, can't see the white of my eyes. You're gonna play off of the D power chord. Seventh fret. I just use these same two fingers. Lower the upper string. Fourth fret, same idea, but that one you're gonna lower two frets. So. Sounds good over the other guitar. Next part. Second fret power chord extended. With the fourth and the fifth frets on the G and the B strings respectively. And a little pull off there. kind of on and off there. Back to five, back to seven. And then you land at uh, the fifth fret. Add your pinky at seven. Let's get over a bit so you guys can see me a little bit better. Okay, then can't stop the menace. Okay, that part there, just power chords kind of playing off the beginning riff. Nine, seven. You gotta come up here and then get the regular style power chord off the A string root. Fifth, after that, seven, back to where we started. Starts the same, ends different this time. Oh, you know, actually. So it starts the same, you just kind of come back to the fifth fret there. Ba -ba -da! Connects right there with the, um, the other guitar that Trevor's got. Then you go back to the next little part, kind of playing off the very beginning riff. All the poo I have to eat during the week. That same lick again. That same lick again, right? So get these licks down. Some of them do repeat. Thank goodness. Okay, then we go back. So actually, let me play that a little bit. You're gonna add that again. Uh, and then I'm having a brain fart. Oh, and then we go. That's pretty rough. So you're gonna go nine. And you got some palm muting to do. Four, five. Then you gotta fill. I prefer to grab it here, fifth fret, open, then I roll kind of the pinky and the ring finger to where I'm pivoting off of this note, that D on the G string, and 
and I play the top note, 7th fret, mute, lower it with my index to the 5th fret on the B string. At that speed, that's a pretty rough lick to get. Okay, so that's the idea behind it. Then you just got... Okay. Now all that's just going to repeat again, just like before. You can use the same stuff that we did earlier. Alright, so then the next little part, I don't think it's 100% right. That little uh, sort of uh, band lull, I don't know what you call it. Pause, no one to quit, but I'm not yet done. That part, uh, I do it this way. I'm barring the, the middle two, uh, sorry, the center two strings at the fourth fret, and I like to add the fifth fret bass. Mute that string. Do that, and then I turn it into a power chord on the same string set up here. And I grab that string with my thumb. So no A string for both of those. No to quit, but I'm not yet done. Same thing. Now you, uh, so as you do the second chorus, it's all the same. And actually, he just stays on that chord, but I thought it was fun. I couldn't help but adding a little. Or something to that effect. They're just octaves. Nine, slide to five, slide up to seven. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so we'll just move on. Okay, so that's going to take us to the solo. Last chord you should have before the solo is this. So beginning of the solo, octave chords, 12 to 9. That little bit. Uh, you're just going to have to rewind uh, if you want to get that. I'll do it one more time, actually. Next little bit. You'll have to um, actually listen to the recording for what's palm muted and what's not. Trying to break it down this slow is... Uh, tripping me out. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so we got that much, right? Okay, next little bit. That little bit. Then I switch position. Okay. That's uh, 10, 12, 11. Uh... Okay, this part, for some reason, this is my nemesis. This part here, you're up here. I almost think of it like a little D shape, like a little D major. You're playing around with it, though, so you're going. You could slide from wherever, actually. You don't have to slide from there. Um, okay. Then you do the same octaves again. So all of that, same octaves. Then you do 14, hammer on, pull off. Bend the whole step, add your pinky at the 17th fret, hold the bend, pick the bended note again, release, pull off.
Oh, I'm getting confused. Hang on. There we go. That's the lick. Okay, then. That's a whole step. Slide down to 11. End on 12 on the D string. Oop. Okay, then why would it? That whole little thing. I do three notes. Basically a power chord shape on the DGB strings. Palm mutes. Then you got a shift. Seven, six. That little, uh, little dyad -y shape, uh, shape. Then you're gonna pivot off of the G string with some really quick picking. Seven, nine, uh, eleven, back to seven. Then you do it again. And you end on 14 instead of seven. All right, so everybody with me? Next section here. That bring me down. Now pretty little harmonies in there. Building up to come back around with full force. What we're doing there, it's basically like a little B minor shape. And I'm just kind of picking a melody and pivoting. Pivoting off of the ninth fret. Excuse me. Hello, kitty. All right. So, pivoting off of the ninth fret, we're gonna go. All the melody is on the G and the B strings, the third and the second strings. Um. Okay. So. you're alternating with this I suggest alternating your picking so you're always picking the melody notes up and the bass note down and then I grab it with the pinky at 10 on the B and I kind of roll myself into a power chord okay then it's an all band stop minus this guitar and you're going octaves. Try to pull the wool over the wolf. Solo, just vocals in that guitar. As you hit the second fret power chord, open it up on top. Okay, it makes a nice, uh, you know, creepy cool sound. Can't see the white's my eyes, same thing as before. Oh, sorry, I was wrong. So it does that. There we go. Um, you go back into the chorus. So then the next little bit you got. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the next little bit you got. Try to pull the wool over the wolf, just one guitar and vocals. That's just octaves, fifth fret, seventh fret, full power chord at the second fret. Play the top two strings open in addition, and you get a nice, kind of nice, cool sound. Okay, then you go back to what you would normally do on the chorus for the second pass. Those little shapes. That's all the same as before. Then you get the uh, sort of the repeat or the, you know, the revisit of the. You're going to do that part again, but go up to the higher note, okay, the 12th fret. Now after that, this is what's kind of uh, um, sort of trippy about it. It's not trippy, it's just uh, <laughs> makes it harder to remember the pieces. 
and me you know for the most part being a stickler about it is that you can easily play the same chords of the chorus but what I'm hearing is a little different I'm hearing salt in every wound. I'm hearing those chords instead of so that's like an open D without the top string uh, you sit over the low string with your thumb open open second third it's just a little thicker you know it might be like an overdub in the final mix I'm not really sure um, but I think it's kind of nice to know how to play various, you know, uh, substitutions of the same chords. Then you play that really thick chord from the chorus that we know. Then go to the B minor you had before. This time add your middle finger at the third fret on the second string. Salt in every wound, the salt of the earth is gone. That one's different. Starts the same, ends differently. Seventh fret, second and third strings. Add the pinky at the tenth fret. Rocking so hard, even the car alarms are going off outside. Okay, then same thing. Bastard's not so young anymore. Then we're to the second guitar solo. And uh, I can't concentrate with some guy's car alarm going off. But basically, what we're gonna do is a bendy. You're going to have to anchor the 7th fret and then bend the G string at the 9th fret with your middle and your ring fingers. Then double pick that same note. Okay, then you do it, you just do the bend together. Kind of pick them both with the pinky on there. Okay, bend. Then uh, release bend. Fifth fret. Okay. Next little bit, twelfth fret. Whole step bend really quickly. Release, pull off to 10, 12th fret on the B. Okay. Now, uh, you gotta have some finger flexibility for this. You're trying to go. Okay, this is all uh, the B minor scale I was mentioning earlier. So you're gonna pick a note, 10, pull off to nine, pull off to seven. Next string. 10, pull off to 8, pull off to 7. Now you have a four notes in the place of what we had before. So you're just going to do pick, pull off, pick, pull off. End at your 10th fret. It's funny how it's harder to play things slow. Anyway, <laughs> you tripped out. Okay, then you're going to slide up, uh, use the ring, you guys can get that. Alright, we're almost done. So. Okay, then we start, sort of start the beginning riff over again. Uh, 
That's all the same. It's just kind of a different order in a way. Then the ending, very last part. Congratulations. You all get gold stars. Second fret open. Fifth. Seventh. And you end on the fifth fret. So congratulations. <laughs> Practice hard. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post in the Walker Guitar Forum. Um, and you can post your requests. If I have time and I'm into it, I'll totally do it. I'm really enjoying getting into this uh, punk stuff. Props again to Wilhelm Scream, and I'll see you guys next time. Rock on.